Welcome to my engineering drawing playlist. Today I am going to explain how to find major and minor axis of ellipse. So this is actually the twisted problem of ellipse. So let's see first of all the description of the problem. Two points A and B are 100 mm apart. A point C is 75 mm from point A and 45 mm from point B. Draw an ellipse passing through the points A, B and C. So our objective is to draw the ellipse. But in such a way that AB is not a major axis. Find major and minor axis of ellipse. Draw normal and tangent at any point on the ellipse. So basically in this problem there are three different objectives. First one is draw an ellipse passing through the point AB and C such that AB is not a major axis. Second objective, find major and minor axis of the ellipse and third one, draw normal and tangent at any point on the ellipse. Now let's see how can we solve the problem. So first of all, locate the A and B point which is 100 mm apart. So here you can see 100 mm and so that I can locate the A and B point. Now next we need to locate the point C which is 75 mm from point A and 45 mm from point B. So let's take a compass, set the distance as 75 mm because of the location of the point C is 75 mm from the point A. So draw the arc with A center. Next point C is 45 mm from point B. So once again take compass set the radius as 45 mm and take B as the center draw the arc. So now you can mark the intersection point as C. So this is actually the location of the point C. Now mark the midpoint of this AB point give the name as O join OC and extend it such a way that AB is the bisector of this line. Next mark the D point such a way that OD that is exactly equal to OC. Next draw the parallelogram passing through the point A, D, B and C with the help of the roller scale. Now divide this distance OA into the 4, 5 or 6 equal parts. Here I have taken 6 equal parts but you can divide it into the 4 or 5 equal parts also. Similarly on this way. Here I have divided it into the 6 equal parts so it must be 6 equal parts and so that you have to divide this into the 6 equal parts also and similarly over here. Now join C1, C2, C3, C4 and C5. Next join D1 and extend it up to the C1 so you will get the intersection point mark it as P1. Now can you imagine what should be the next step my dear friends? Yes absolutely right. Join D2 and extend it up to C2 so you will get P2. Similarly you will get P3, P4 and P5. Similarly, you can repeat the step over here. Join D1, D2, D3, D4 and D5 so that you will get Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5 respectively. Now join all the points by the smooth curve. So this is the half portion of the ellipse. Now next step, draw the inclined line which is actually parallel to this line passing through this all intersection point means from P1 to P5 and from Q1 to Q5. Initially take the length of this inclined line randomly. Now take compass, set the radius that is exactly equal to this distance and take this is as a center, draw the arc so that you will get the corresponding point over here. 
Now similarly, you will get all the corresponding points. Join all the points by the smooth curve. Here you can see. So this is the ellipse. We have completed so far the first task. Draw an ellipse passing through the point A, B and C. Here you can see. In such a way that AB is not a major axis. Here you can see AB is not actually the major axis. Now the second task. Find major and minor axis of the ellipse. Now you need to find the major and minor axis. For that, take the compass, set the radius that is exactly equal to OC. Take O as the center, draw the arc which will intersect to the ellipse at this point. Mark this point as G. Join CG. Now, very important. Draw the line which is parallel to the CG and that you can do with the help of the ruler scale. But it must be passed through this point O. So here you can draw this line. That is actually the minor axis of the ellipse. Now give the name as JK. Now you know that perpendicular to the minor axis will give you the major axis of the ellipse. And definitely that you can do with the help of the scale. Match the long line of the scale to this JK line. So that automatically it will be your perpendicular line to this JK. And that is your major axis. Mark it as HI. Now if you measure the length of the HI with the help of the scale, then it will be 108 mm. That is your major axis and JK that is your minor axis and that will be 56 mm. So this is your second answer. Find major and minor axis of the ellipse. Now the third one. Draw normal and tangent at any point on the ellipse. So let's say this S point is the point where we want to draw the normal and tangent and already you know that to draw the normal and tangent on the ellipse, you need to identify the location of the F1 and F2. That means foci points. For that, take the compass, set the radius as one half of the major axis. And you know that major axis is HI. So one half of the major axis that is OI. And take J as the center. Draw the arc on this HI so that you will get F1 and F2. Now join SF1 and SF2. Now draw the bisector of this angle F1 as F2 with the help of the protector so that you will get the normal and perpendicular to this normal passing through the point S will give you as a tangent and that you can do with the help of this scale match the long line of the scale to this normal line so automatically it will give you the perpendicular line so this is your tangent so this is really a very interesting problem so we have completed three different tasks first ellipse then major and minor axis of the ellipse and at last normal and tangent of the ellipse take care in the examination only ellipse normal and tangent should be dark and the remaining portion should be as light as possible. Write your answer of HI that means major axis and JK that means minor axis in the comment box. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate it.